mass cooking and feeding has always been a part of Hinduism. Besides being a part of festivals like Kavadi, chariot festivals and other prayers, it has also become an effective seva instrument. Sadna visited the Tongat Hindu Unity Forum to observe how this tradition and culture is kept alive. Cooking for a large crowd can be overwhelming and strenuous. But if you have the right skills, then you too can mass cook with confidence. There was a need to uh, empower uh, the young, younger generation uh, in this custom and tradition and in this skill of mass cooking. And we approached one of the most experienced and senior cooks in Tonga at the moment, uh, Sujit, and he readily availed himself uh, to come in and pass on the skill and train those who were interested. And we were very encouraged that so many people uh, reciprocated and in the positive. And I've come out today, we are cooking 25 decks as a training exercise. And um, this is the first of many exercises until they get the perfect the art of uh, cooking. So in terms of the process, we, uh, we've already distributed the ingredients. Just a few pointers, we're going to be following a process where we're going to be starting on the top here and going down so we don't get uh, caught short with any resource that may be in short supply. My name is Sujit Singh. Uh, I've been involved in community cooking for approximately 25 years. And uh, mass cooking development came through the Break Village Temple where we've been involved in the cooking operation for the Kaveri Festival, where we prepare approximately 20,000 meals. So it's uh, biryani, dal, and potato curry. Traditionally, that's the, the food that was cooked at the temple. Coming up, out of this COVID pandemic, as a forum, we asked ourselves the question, what better time it is for us to engage in an exercise calling for the divine for a rejuvenation, a resurrection of our dharma. And we said, being the auspicious period it is at this moment, let us engage. Every time we engage in prayer as Hindus, it has been a time of giving, a time of gratitude. Om Tat Ganeshaya Vidmai, Vakra Dundaya Timai, Dano Dandi Prachodia Namaha, Om Gajananam Bodagana di Sevitam, Kapila Jambu Palapad Pakshikam, Umami Sota Vinashakaranam, Namami Vigneshwar Pad Pankajam, Om Sri Ganeshaya Namaha, Om Sri Ganeshaya Namaha, Om Sri Ganeshaya Namaha, Om Today's program was mooted because of the auspicious period that we find ourselves in at this particular moment. It is the great festival of Pongal, coupled with Makara Sankranti. Coupled with the Thaipusam Kaveri that's being observed throughout the country and the world. And the festival of Pongal is that giving, that gratitude that we express to the divine and share with the entire community. Talk about the Indian, Indian Unity Forum takes care of all the necessary resources that's needed from the, uh, the word to the ingredients. And then the temples, as I said, because it's a uh, learning exercise, they're just uh, doing the cooking this time. Yeah, we are quite thankful. There are uh, quite a few donors that come on board. 
from the community. A lot of uh, family servers of the community, well wishers, who, who actually uh, enjoy doing this type of seva. They have come on board and have encouraged it. And they're quite impressed that uh, more people want to learn the skill and, and you know, be able to pass it down to the generation. Also help to ensure that it continues. This is a wonderful job, you know. They say in our uh, Hindu religion, they say andan means the donation of food to people that haven't got food and people are starving. It's a great sacrifice. Andan, vastradan, that is donation of clothing. Uh, my grandfather came into South Africa in 1892. And then in 1904, my grandfather with four or five other prominent Indian people of our community got together and put the foundation for this temple. This is my first baby class and class one school I started here. Vidyadan, the donation of knowledge. Somebody who was a poor family who might have a very clever child but haven't got the money to further their studies. Their parents, their grandparents were working for all the sugar barons, for peanuts. It is our duty to help. We're part of the Indo Forum as well. We assist them whenever they do hamper drives. Uh, so we got, they got in contact with us, requesting us to come through for this coaching clinic, which I jumped at because it's a wonderful opportunity. Because sometimes at our temple, we, we're short of cooks. So this will benefit us going forward if we're short of cooks to assist the temple in cooking for functions and stuff like that. I come from a very small family. To learn to cook mass cooking, uh, it's, uh, it's so great because if our temple hasn't got a cook, we're looking for a cook. I know we got five people in our team and five of us put together, I'm sure we can make it 100%. It's important that, you know, uh, the more people that have this skill, it will be, we'll be able to decentralize. And each of the temples will be able to uh, take care of the community around them. And it also, you know, it makes it easier in terms of uh, coordination, because we'll be able to, uh, as a Hindu forum, source and, and get the ingredients and distribute it to the various centers. And they will undertake the process of then cooking and distributing to the needy around them. These are all great sacrifices we have to make. We as human beings, we have to. We are the only people that can. The human race can only make sacrifices and we must continue this because that is part of our religion. So, and if we cultivate this practice into our younger generation, then you don't have to tell them automatically they will be drawn in to continue our steps, footsteps. Narendra Modi states that the more we give importance to skill development, the more competent will be our youth. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sadhna The Inward Path, or follow us on our social media platforms and spread the waves of Sadhna into the world. Namaste.